Ah, V B N the Rich Video Blog Network, home to weekly NFL predictions, great personality profiles, great professional wrestling video blogs, great sports video blogs, great MBTA video blogs, and tons more. Collection of my work goes back to June of 2014 on various social media websites. Ah, V B N the only video blog on the internet that matters. Time now is seven. 39 in the evening, Berwick, Massachusetts. It's Saturday, July 1st, 2017. It's still muggy out right now. It's about 80 degrees. Some places in northern New England had some serious thunder showers. There was a um, funnel cloud spotted at sub Suburbo Lake in Maine. Tomorrow is supposed to get a little better with dry and looks like the fourth's gonna be dry too. Some news to report on the IBBN Newswire. Do, 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 do. The Philadelphia 76ers signed Amir Johnson from the Boston Celtics for one year for $11 million. The San Jose Sharks have signed Joe Thornton as center to a one year contract. Also, the the Florida Panthers have cut ties with Yamia Yaga and the Boston Celtics have signed Danny Theus from the European League for a two year contract. And that's about it on the news from the RVBN News. Why do, 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 do. Be back in a flash with my third and final video blog subject of night, which will be about Canada. Some of the great things in Canada because today is Canada's 150th um, anniversary. But first, hear this. Tomorrow on RVBN, only two video blogs for your entertainment. First video blog will be about the late great actor Adam West. This was a request at a Facebook friend told um, told me to do a video blog about um, Adam West, and I'm requesting that I'm doing it tomorrow. And the second and final video blog of the night is why the USA Network and WWE will be headed for a divorce again sometime in the near future. Next week's video blogs for the 4th of July include personality profiles of Melissa Stark, Jamie Moy, and so many others, and some subjects including expansion to the CFL in the United States, and why um, Danny Ainge, the president of basketball operations of the Boston Celtics, struck out in landing a big name player. I am back. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about Canada. Today is Canada's 150th birthday. It was formed in July 1st, 1867. Canada is the second largest country size wise and only Russia is behind it and Canada has 10 providences and 3 territories. Canada's weather could be real hot during the summer months. Some places get over 100 degrees mainly in the prairies of Saskatchewan and Alberta but in the winter times, it's so, so harsh. Sometimes temperatures are 40, 50, 60 degrees below zero, especially in the Northwest Territories and the Yukon. And a, a lot of times there are snow, snow storms. Canada has about 35 million people living in Canada, which is a very low population because half of it's um, like forests and plus 
a lot of it up in the Arctic Circle, which you can't develop because it's so, so cold. And about 80% of the people who live in Canada live within 100 miles from the U.S. border. Canada's total population is that equivalent to the metropolitan areas of New York City, Chicago, and Los Angeles combined, which that's a lot of people. That's the equivalent of it. That's three, three major um, cities in the United States. Most of Canada's population lives in such suburb, um, um, metro areas as Montreal, Toronto, Vancouver, um, Hamilton, and Ottawa, which is the capital of Canada. Canada has two main languages. Um, it's English and in most of Quebec and a, and a few other provinces like New Brunswick. Um, they speak French. Also, Canada is the home of hockey. Seven NHL teams are based out of Canada. Hockey was invented in Canada. The Stanley Cup came from Canada. About 80% of all National Hockey League players in the history of the NHL came from Canada. When boys are born, after they basically walk, they get out on skates and play hockey, hoping to make it to the NHL. Can Canada has produced the most hockey players in history, including Bobby Orr, Wayne Gretzky, Gordy Howe, Mario Lemieux, Jacques Plant, John Elbow, um, Maurice Richard, Bobby Hall, Martin Brodeur, Patrick Roy, Sidney Crosby, Connor David, and so many others. Also, Canada is home to the Toronto Raptors of the NBA and Major League Baseball's Toronto Blue Jays. Also, they have the CFL Canadian Football League, which all nine teams are play in Canada. Also, Canada is home to many entertainers in the past and present, including William Shatner, Michael J. Fox, Martin Short, Howie Mandel, and the most famous Playboy Playmate of all time, Pamela Anderson, who, who was born 50 years ago today in British Columbia. She was the first baby to be born on Canada's 100th birthday in British Columbia. That's an amazing feat. Also, Canada is home to like a lot of great professional wrestlers, including Bret the Hitman Hart, his late brother Owen Hart. Also, Edge and Christian were born in Canada. Chris Jericho from Canada, Land Storm, and so many others. They are territories like Maple Wheat Leaf Wrestling, I'm Wrestling from Montreal, Stan P. Wrestling, and the others into WWE came. Also, I'm one of the most famous divas in WWE history, Trish Stratus, um, is from Ontario, Canada, and Canada has some of the most amazing views in North America or in the world from the Maritimes, the Canadian Maritimes, to the Canadian Pacific Northwest and the mountains and also the, um, the Northwest Territories and the Yukon. Very, very great views of Canada and Canada is an awesome country. I haven't been to Canada at all, and I 
I am not Canadian descent, but Canada is awesome, I, in my humble opinion. And one of these days, I would love to visit the Hockey Hall of Fame in Canada and go to Montreal, maybe go to St. Catherine Street because that's the famous um, where there's so many um, gentlemen's club. So Canada rocks. And that's about it on that. I'll be back tomorrow. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Google Plus. Keep calm, everybody. I'm a Julie Bunny guy. Molly Rose, Molly, WCCL, Roxanne has nice legs. Elizabeth Hot, so, so sunny. She's the best. Amy Sweezy's awesome, awesome, Amy. Linda Church of WPIX Channel. Along New York, such a rocking cool. Gets got the best legs in New York City, Bob on. Bob Gibbs of ABC 11, Sweet Southern Accent. Best legs in Illinois, North Carolina. Ren Claire of WHGH Channel 7, Boston. That's awesome. Has the best legs in Boston now. How you will live WABI Channel 5 in Bangor, Maine. So has the nicest legs in Maine by now.